Hello guys. Welcome back. Jimmy is here. And today I'm going to be doing a NordVPN review and give you a quick rundown on NordVPN. I've been using it for a little bit over two years now and I've been really enjoying it and I figure now's a good time to get into it and show you guys some of the features that I like about the service. So let's dig in. First up, let's talk about security. They use REST 256-bit encryption, which is basically the gold standard today of encryption. They're also using a modified version of WireGuard protocol, which they call NordLynx, which basically takes WireGuard, which is already a very fast and secure platform, and then they are modifying it with the NordLynx aspect to make it so that there is zero information of you being saved on the VPN server itself. Next up is their server choices. I really appreciate the amount of choices that they have for their servers. They have over 5,700 servers in 60 countries. You can also connect to the dedicated IP service if you want to pay a little extra. They have a double VPN, they have obfuscated servers, Onion over VPN and P2P options along with an entire list of countries that you can choose from. Typically what I do is I'll connect to the US and within that if I need something specific I can connect out to New York or Phoenix, whatever it is, and it even allows that granular support of sticking to a specific server that you may want to always reconnect back to. I think that's a really cool feature, and I think it's really nice that you can control everything down to the granular level, such as if I want to connect via double VPN to something, I can choose which country I want to connect to. I can choose specifically a region within a country that I want to connect to. And I can even do presets where every time I click this present over here, I can have it connect for something that is geared towards downloads or speed or browsing. This will basically influence the algorithm for how it selects the next server that I'm going to connect to. So for instance, if I want to connect to browsing right now, it's connecting out to South Korea. I can connect to a US-based server for downloads and it's going to find that server and connect up to it. Personally, I've run into an issue where this service will take a little while to find me that next server, which is something. As a side note, overall if I was just to rate the VPN cur service itself, I would probably give it an 8 out of 10 or 9 out of 10. The only issues that I've bumped into with it is occasionally it will have trouble finding that next server if I'm hopping from one to another, and occasionally on my mobile device if I go in and out of service and I lose signal bars and then they come back. Occasionally I'll need to reconnect the VPN but otherwise it's rock solid. I've been very satisfied with it so far. Next, let's dive into some of the other features that more VPN has. We've got threat protection up first. What threat protection does is it allows you to block ads, web trackers, infected files. It also allows you to block malicious websites tracking URLs and deep file scans. And how this works is basically allows NordVPN to check against their blacklist of URLs and domains that they try to harm your machine. This allows them to block it before it gets to your machine. So instead of seeing an ad, you might actually see a white space with nothing in it. And that's just a really nice feature to have. Additionally, it allows you to block files. So if there's specific viruses that are out on the internet that is known to NOR, they're going to block it for you and you can fully customize this out to whatever you want. You can also block web trackers, and I think this is a killer feature. Additionally, if you use an iPhone or an Android device, you have access to Threat Protection Lite, which is essentially the same service. Another killer feature is MeshNet. I messed around with this a little bit and it's more of a new feature they just released, so I'm still getting used to it, but what it allows for is you to basically host your own network within NordVPN. So if you have a machine that lives, let's say at home, and then you have a laptop at the office, or you have a home server in your basement, whatever it is, if you connect up to MeshNet, what it does is it encrypts your information through your encrypted tunnel to their servers. What that allows for is that my machine at home can actually see the machine that's at the office. It's as if they're on the same network together. 
and that allows for you to host local and parties across with your buddies. It allows you to share files directly with the other machines and allows you, most importantly, to access your files from anywhere in the world. And that is a very useful feature to have overall. NordVPN is a fully featured package. They give you a secure, fast and easy to use system that works on, like any device, Windows, Mac, Android, iPhone, and it even works on Fire Stick, which is pretty awesome. What's interesting about that is you can actually use it to connect to a different country. So if you're a Netflix user or use any of the other streaming platforms, you can connect to, let's say the United Kingdom to access their library of movies and TV shows, which is just a great thing to have. I like the auto connect feature, which means I don't have to manually connect it every time and it just connects up. They have the VPN kill switch, which means that if for whatever reason you lose connection to NOR, the internet won't work, which is a very useful feature I have. It has a split tunneling so you can rid some of your traffic through their servers if you desire. You can customize the DNS servers and when you get into the nitty gritty of the presets, you can really customize it out to use whatever protocol you want, whatever country you want. I'm going to now load a speed test here so you guys can see I'm in the US at the moment and I'm connected up to a Manchester server. This service has been really quick. It works great for me when traveling. It's very secure and affordable. I got it with like 60 something percent off for two years and it's like $3 a month. As you can see here, I'm getting 180 megabits down speed and I'm getting over 200 up speed. I'm on a connection which has 400 megabytes speed. So you can see that the speeds are really good. I use it to game, I use it for everything and I have it on all my devices. Overall I've been very happy with it. So after watching my NordVPN review, if you're interested in getting the service, they also have a 30 day money back guarantee and down below in the video description. I have provided a discount link for NordVPN for you, so if you're going to try it out, Please check that out and please also let me know in the comments below what you think about it. So that's it for today's video guys. Please leave a thumbs up to this video if you have enjoyed watching it. I will see you guys in the next video. Until then, like I always say, please take care and stay safe everyone.